Pluto, dwarf planet located in the far reaches of the solar system. On average, it is 40 times more distant from the Sun than Earth is. Its surface area is slightly bigger than Russia's, but to put it into real perspective, you can fit 150 Plutos inside Earth. So what if this small dwarf planet were to become a moon of Earth? That would mean that Pluto would need to get closer to the Sun, which would provide quite a few drastic changes to its surface. Pluto would need to travel a path of 7.3 billion kilometers. Even light takes 5 hours to reach Pluto from Earth, so it would need to travel a path of 5 light hours, which could take a very long time. Going 100,000 kilometers per hour, it would take Pluto about 8 years to reach Earth, but that is depending on speed of course. So the surface of Pluto is 98% nitrogen ice. Melting point of nitrogen is minus 210 Celsius and boiling point minus 195 Celsius. But as Pluto approaches Earth, because it would be closer to the Sun, temperature of Pluto would rise, melting all of the nitrogen and creating a nitrogen ocean, which would cover the whole surface of Pluto. Only solid thing on the surface of Pluto would be water ice and bedrock mountains, which would be sticking out of the nitrogen ocean. It would be quite a magnificent sight. But interestingly, Pluto's moon Charon would not experience a lot of changes because it is made out of water ice, so it would be solid. But magnificent nitrogen oceans of Pluto would not last for very long, because as Pluto would approach the Earth, more, getting even closer to the Sun, nitrogen will reach the boiling point, making all of the nitrogen oceans to slowly evaporate, and creating a very blue and somewhat thick atmosphere that will mostly be nitrogen and the atmosphere will last for a few thousand years because of low gravity. But its surface area is going to be mostly water ice, since it is the layer underneath the nitrogen ice surface, and water gets frozen at zero Celsius. This will be in the minus, meaning it will be a frozen water ocean. It will be like that for a long time, until it reaches the orbit of Earth, where temperature is usually in plus, depending on an atmosphere. Their water ice layer of Pluto will start to unfreeze, creating a water ocean covering the surface. Poles as well could be possibly created. Oceans will likely stay liquid throughout day and night because of the atmosphere, so heat would be transformed normally. Its moon Charon would likely have an ocean as well, that freezes during the night and becomes liquid during the day, because of the temperature variation without an atmosphere. Now Pluto could barely get to be a satellite of Earth. But if it keeps a normal distance from the moon, it would stay in orbit. But Pluto's moon Charon would likely be ejected out of the orbit, flying into outer space. So that would mean that Earth would have two moons, Pluto and the moon, or Luna. So since Pluto is quite a small object, even smaller than the moon, and it is smaller by a lot than the moon, surface area on moon is double the area of Pluto, and surface gravity of the moon is more than two times stronger than Pluto's. So if Pluto is, let's say, 500,000 kilometers away from the Earth, it would not have that much effect on the Earth. Tides and waves would be a bit bigger, and length of the day could change by few minutes. But in general, everything and everyone on Earth would likely be fine. So Pluto would appear as a small blue ball in the sky. It would be smaller than the moon, but it would look quite magnificent with flowing oceans that would be quite deep maybe even more so than the Earth's ocean. In fact, with Pluto being our moon, it would have more upsides than downsides. Pluto would provide quite a nice place to colonize. It would have water and good enough temperature with a blue and somewhat thick atmosphere. But the atmosphere will, after a few thousand years, go away, and it will return to the old tin atmosphere, meaning temperature will again begin to be unstable, likely from 50 Celsius at day and minus 50 Celsius at night, meaning oceans will freeze during the night and be liquid during the day. Still, humans by that time will likely figure out a way to keep an atmosphere. So, of course, Pluto will not begin to drift towards Earth. It's just a fun idea to see what would happen. And it looks like it is quite a good thought that would provide humans another place to live on, which would extend humanity.